What's going on everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Blue Kaizo Nuzlocke and in the last episode we got our fourth gym badge ended up losing half our team uh, during that episode but during in between episodes I put in some rare candies not gonna lie I didn't have time to grind I uh, got everybody up to level 60 got some new team members so let's just go ahead and look at who we have we have King the Nidorino here with double kick toxic horn attack and dig then we brought back Greed the B Drill with Twin Missile, Pin Missile, Mega Drain, and Toxic. Then we have Happy the Marowak with Bone Meringue, Double Edge, Rock Slide, and Headbutt. We have Crazy the Clefable with Body Slam, Metronome, Mega Punch, and Flash. Then we have Cyan the Megaton, sorry, Magneton with Thunderbolt, Supersonic, Thunder Wave and Double Edge. Then we have Dragonite, the Charizard, with Flamethrower, Dragon Rage, Slash, and Mega Punch. And I wanted to start this episode off with evolving King into a Nido King. Let's just go ahead and use that on King to get us a Nido King, get some more stats on him, and make him a little bit better. And then we are going to. Go ahead and go into the game corner and work our way through beating Giovanni for the first time to get the Sylph Scope. So we can go to Lavender Tower and get us an encounter there. I'm really hoping to get a Ghastly or a Haunter. Uh, in this game, I do believe they will evolve at some point into Gengar. I think they made it to where trade evolutions automatically evolve. Uh, I've thought about testing on it on a Machoke, just putting rare candies and then releasing them. Obviously, I wouldn't use them if you evolved into Machamp because it would be an illegal capture. But we'll just wait and see if it does evolve. If I'm able to capture a Ghastly. And then uh, I think we got a Ghastly and then an Abra at some point in this game. That would be absolutely phenomenal. And our team would be pretty stacked because those two mons are definitely broken in this in Gen 1. So, but a lot of these trainers we did already take out in the last episode before we decided just to go ahead and cut our losses and leave. But we got to fight this guy here. Let's see what he has coming out. He's going to have an electrode and that thing is going to explode. Let's go out to Happy here. He's got the most defenses and is most likely to live this. He's going to go for Thunderbolt, which is not going to affect us. And of course, now he's going to explode. Come on, Happy. You can live this. I can't lose any more mons to explosion. Okay, yeah, you definitely, you ate that. Uh, Happy is definitely a tank. Uh, Koistler, let's go out to, Ma uh, let's go over here to Cyan. And hopefully this thing doesn't explode. Uh, I've had quite a few of these explode on me as well. And it seems like at this point in the game, everybody's just like, here, go and explode on him. That's what this guy wants to deal with. First thing on the episode is my mons exploding on him. Luckily, the two that we lived one and then we took out the Koistler. Then we got an Execute, which also explodes. So, so far we're three for three. Let's see if all of his mons know explosion. Hopefully we get lucky and can take this thing out with a single flamethrower and don't have to worry about him exploding. And we do, okay. So that's not too big of an issue. We grew up to level 62 on Dragonite. And a Haunter. This shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, just hit it with a Flamethrower. Uh, might take two to take him out. Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, we got a critical hit. Okay. I definitely don't think we would have taken it out without that critical hit. So I'm not going to complain there. And then we got Hypno. And a flamethrower. See how much damage that does. Pretty, it's a pretty decent amount. How much is this psychic gonna do to me? Uh, oh no no no, Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Okay, let's uh, let's definitely switch out here. Let's go in over here to s uh, let's go to crazy, uh. Dragonite definitely was not going to live another Psychic. Let's see how much this Psychic does to Crazy here. 
Okay, so not much. Uh, let's hit it with a body slam. And take it out with a critical hit. Okay, so that guy's down. And I did spend a lot of the money that I had after beating Erica and everything on hyper potions. But we're going to use our super potions outside of battle. Kind of like what we were doing with the uh, regular potions and secret potions. We'll use the better potions in battle and then the weaker ones outside of battle. Now, which set of steps do I go up? Do I go up these ones or down the other side? Oh, this just takes us back to where we were. Okay. So now we know that. Okay, so this just basically took us all the way out. So let's, we'll have to go down the other set of steps that was sitting there. And I wonder what those two items are that the guy's guarding. I'm sure we'll figure it out at some point. But let's just keep going. And go this way. They basically made everything in here a maze, which I like, because there's not a really a wrong way. Like, you're basically forced to go the correct way, which is nice. And they just kind of made it to where it's easier to get through in a, in a way. But at the same time, you can't avoid any of the trainers. Ooh, we got an item here. And then they made the little spinny things on the floor invisible. Which I'm not going to lie, is a little bit annoying. Because now I can't see where I need to go to get this item. Or that item. Or that item. So we got three items that we can... Possibly get. But I have no idea how. Okay. There we go, we got one. And another moonstone, okay. And an Ultra Ball. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how to get to the other item. Let's see if we can just find our way back to the beginning of this. To get out of here and continue on. Oh, wait. Here we go. Right here. And we found a nugget. That's we can sell that for some money. All right, and now let's. Ah, uh, they had to move the little spinny things, didn't they? Okay, this is annoying. Hopefully. We don't have to go through any type of puzzle like this to get out of here. Okay, so apparently I had to go this way. And this is just annoying because I can't... There's no way to see... Which way you're supposed to go. So you're kind of just like... Oh, oh, well, nope. Yeah, now I'm all the way back up here. Okay, guys, this could take me a minute. Not even gonna lie. Okay, now we've made it down this way. Okay, we made it out. Let's not go back through there. So let's see what this guy has. A Porygon. Hopefully it does not know any type of explosion. And it's dead anyways. So, another critical hit. Gotta love when you get critical hits. Uh, and a muck. Then could have explosion. I'm not 100. Well, critical hit doesn't matter. I don't know why we're getting so many critical hits today, but I'm definitely not complaining at all. And a Mr. Mime. Whatever you went for didn't affect me, so this guy's gonna be a pretty easy battle for Dragonite here. That is actually a Charizard, but. That's fine. And then we got a Gyarados. Okay, so we definitely want to switch out against this thing. Ooh, body slam. Uh, we should live that. And he should die from this Thunderbolt. If not, we will heal up. Uh, yes, it does. 
And then what's his next mon? It is a Dragonair. Yes, we want to switch, but who do we want to switch into? Let's go into King. We haven't seen him in battle yet. Uh, throw some Toxic on him. Get him Poison. And then just let a, the Toxic whittle him down. That's definitely good. We have Toxic on two different Mons. So if we have to, we can Toxic stall things. I'm not afraid to do that at all. Uh, let's heal up real fast. Before we can continue on... Oh, didn't really need to use a super potion there, but we did. That was kind of a waste of one, but that's all right. Uh, use a paralyzed hill. I should have bought some more of these. We'll have to remember that the next time we go to a mart to get some paralyzed hills. All right, we got an item up here. I accidentally held the speed up and didn't see what it was. Uh, it was uh, another nugget. So we have two nuggets now. So we got $10,000 in our bag that we can spend. And we will definitely need it, especially when it comes to the Leaf 4. I plan on getting super stocked up on Hyper Potions and full restores and everything. Ooh, TM10, what is that? It is double-edged. Not too interested in double-edged. I don't really like moves that deal recoil damage, especially in a Nuzlocke. And more of a hidden... Spinny things. Of course. And I doubt the layout is the same as it's always been. Oh, uh, I hate these hidden spinny things. So, yeah. I hate Rocket Hideout. Another thing to add to my I hate list from this game. So we got Explosion. And now we have Rocket Hideout. I wonder what's going to be next. Okay, so we can't step on that one. Can't step on that one. So how do we get down there? Huh. Alrighty. If I don't figure it out soon, I'll make a quick cut so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me struggle forever on trying to figure out how to do this. Well then. So we can go this far. Alrighty, this is... How do they expect somebody to figure this out when they took him away? They made him invisible. I can't see where I'm going. Alrighty. Guys, I'm going to make a quick cut and I will let you know exactly how long this takes me to get done with this. Uh, I just, I don't know how to get through here What since they made my little spinny tiles invisible. So I will be right back. Alrighty guys, we're back. And that only took me 28 minutes to do. And I was very frustrated. So it's been about an hour and a half. It took me about 30 minutes to get through it. And then I was so frustrated, I just kind of walked away from the game for a little bit. So I wouldn't make super poor decisions. But yeah, there's not a whole lot of like guides on this. So that's what makes it a little bit more challenging as well it's not super easy to get through so let's see what tm2 is i might have to start tossing even more items razor wind uh nobody can learn that uh we'll just toss it and continue on i may end up having to use those three rare candies I picked up just to kind of free up the spot in our bag all right let's go take on this guy so but yeah uh 28 minutes to get through that little puzzle and it would have taken me five had they 
not remove the little spinny tile things. Ooh, critical hit. Uh, let's use a hyper potion here. Uh, no critical hits. No critical hits. Okay. Uh, how much did that do? 30, 20, 58? Okay, so... Oh, come on. No. Oh, I was trying to go for Thunderbolt. We have... Mega Drain on this. If he can live a hit. He's not very defensive. That is for sure. How much is that going to do? Am I really about to get one shot? Okay, no. But... I think we're definitely not. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We're we're taking Beecher off the team. That does nothing. Uh, I don't know who we're gonna add to the team, especially just losing. Uh, Magnemite here, Mo oh, Magneton, but definitely gotta take Beecher off the team. He can't do a whole lot of damage at all, so. I guess what we can do is I have a Pidgeotto in the PC. We can use him. Oh, that doesn't affect. Uh, and then I'm not exactly sure who else we can add. We need another electric type for sure. I think it's going to have to recharge. Go for another double kick since he's going to have to recharge anyways. Alright, took out King of Kong. So we just got to kind of... Beedrill's definitely... It, it can't attack with Crud, so... We'll have to... Figure out what to do with that. And we lost Cyan. Sorry about that. Uh, that was actually named after a supporter of mine. And I, I hate losing Mons, especially when it, they've I've nicknamed them after a viewer. But it happens. I definitely thought I could live that. I was insanely wrong. So we got the lift key now. So let's go up this way. Go through here. I think we have to go back to the... First floor? I would assume. Hopefully we don't have to go back to that puzzle. I don't know if I could handle having to go back to that puzzle again. Oh, now we're trapped on this thing again. Are you kidding me? Okay, so it's the second. There we go. It's this one. Or maybe it's not. Okay, guys. This is... How did I get... I know I got back through here at one point. Oh, wait. Maybe I went... I don't know. This is just... Oh my gosh. Can this episode be any worse than it already is? I think this... This has to be insanely boring for you guys. I do apologize. You, This video definitely is going to be crap. But they took out the little spinny tiles. Like, why would you take the spinny tiles out? That's how people know where to go. Like, come on. Like... This game's already hard enough, and then you want to take away our spinny tiles so we even know where to go? Like, who does that? Like, it was like, you know what would be a good idea? You know those little tiles on the ground that uh, let people know which way to go? Yeah, let's take them out of the game. So they have no idea where, where they're about to step, and... I know I had to go over this way somewhere. No. Okay. 
I might make another cut so you guys don't have to watch me get all the way through this again. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna make another cut. I do apologize for all the cuts. Uh, and then I'll be back when I figure out how to get back out of this. Alright, we're back. That one didn't take me nearly as long. That one took me like five minutes. So now we, that we have the lift key, I think we can go through here, maybe? No, now we gotta find the elevator. So maybe I wasn't supposed to go up there? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, more or less running around. Not 100% sure where to go. So let's just use a tap speed up just a little bit so I don't crash the game. But enough to where... Okay, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I think instead of going up here, let's go down through here. Yeah, this is just where we've got the lift key at. So, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. And hopefully this is right. Then we get here. That's not what I wanted to do. Go this way, and then go this way. Oh, no, nope. that's not what I meant to do. Go this way. Ah, crud, I went down too far. I know when instead of leaving here like I did, I should have went... No, maybe not. I wish they had walkthroughs on this game. It would help out so much, but not very many people, at least that I found, hasn't really made a walkthrough. As so far, you know, so it's kind of hard to find somebody that can really explain exactly where you're supposed to go. When nobody's really made a walkthrough on it, like other games, so... That's what the struggle is of this episode. I can only imagine how bad Silphco is going to be. I think before I record Silphco, I definitely want to try to find something that will walk me through it, but I think we figured it out. Okay, so we can't go that way. Go down. Okay, so maybe not. I haven't made it this far yet, though. So, that's something. Definitely something, because we have not made it this far yet. And now we're just back right here. Because I know where I need to be. Uh, It's just getting there, because uh, where they took the tiles out of this... You can't really see what direction or where the spinny things are. I guess I could have made a little map to kind of see where I'm supposed to go and whatnot, but I didn't think about it. So we're doing this without a map. Uh, go back down this way. Like I said, I know exactly where I need to be. It's just getting there so I think I need to go straight that way or down through here yeah down through this little pass underneath here is where I need to be it's just figuring out how to get there so basically I need to land on That one that spins. I can't go down there. That's the way I need to go. Huh. Okay, this is really, really annoying. And... Yeah, that's... I need to go down right here instead of up.
Maybe if I talk to this guy, he'll activate him. No. Okay. I was hoping that maybe if I talked to that guy, he'd be like, oh, well, let me turn on little spinny things for you so you can see how to get to our boss and beat him. But he didn't. He wasn't going to be that nice to me, unfortunately. No, okay, so we have to go this way. And then... Let's try going this way. No. That just put me back here. Crud. Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna make... This is... I want to make another cut. And so you guys don't sit here and watch me run around for 20 minutes. I want to try to find a guide somewhere to figure out how to get through this. Uh, and I'll meet you guys on the other side. Alrighty. We're back. And... I actually found a map of how to get through that little area. And we are now ready to take on Giovanni. Uh, get this item here. Ooh, found another rare candy. But we are ready to take on Giovanni. After doing this most frustrating battle for sure. Hopefully this is where we need to be. And I didn't go the wrong way. Again. Psychic, how much is that going to do to me? I think it's level 50. Another flamethrower will take this thing out though. And then let's see what his next mon is. A Hypno. You know our luck with Hypno. Let's go into crazy and just hit it with some body slams. Alright, so one more should take it out. Yep, and then... Gengar. Ooh, I have only new normal moves on. Whoops, that's not gonna be good. Let's go into going to happy here. Oh, now I'm asleep. Are you kidding me? Okay, well Gengar fainted, so I, I don't know. I guess he exploded, which wouldn't supply, would not surprise me at all. The way everything explodes in this game. So let's fill up with some super potions. Get everybody back up to full health. And there we go. I don't have any awakenings, do I? Because Happy is asleep and I do not have any awakenings. Okay. Alright, let's see what this guy's gonna have. Hopefully nothing too scary or nothing that explodes. Which if he does, I'll just go into Happy and let Happy eat it. Haunter. It can explode because Gengar did. Hopefully we just it just doesn't. Or we kill it before it does. That'd be perfectly okay with me as well. Alrighty. Dragonite up to level 63. And then a Machop. We'll have to just stay in. No, a Machamp. I definitely misread that. Body Slam. Uh, not too bad. Flamethrower will take it out. For some reason, I thought that said Machop. Machamp's definitely scarier than... And an Alakazam. Okay, let's switch out. Let's go into crazy and hit it with some body slams. If we don't get, and we're gonna be fully paralyzed. Psychic. Ooh, we almost took it out. Uh, we should. Oh, of course, he's gonna use a hyper push, and we took it out anyways. So now we should just have Giovanni to take care of. Okay, so that's gone. Let's go ahead and. Use a Paralyzed Hill on Crazy here. And then these last few Super Potions we have to heal everybody up. There we go. I don't want to walk through that. I don't know where that goes. So we're going to walk around that. Because my luck, that would have let us out and I would have had to do all that over again. And then I would have been really sad. So we have a Persian at level 55. Nothing too crazy yet. Ooh, and we got the burn. Slash, that's probably going to do a lot of damage. And it does. So we'll go... Ooh, I don't have any more. Okay, so Slash took him, took that out. Uh, Big Duck Trio. 
going to crazy here. Gonna body slam me. Uh, doesn't do too much. Crazy's actually really thick. Has some really good defenses. And is actually pretty strong. I'm glad I added Crazy to the team. Uh, we'll just stay in. Blizzard. I knew it had Blizzard. But I think Crazy's gonna be our best bet to eat that. Yes, definitely. I think Crazy's definitely the uh, strongest bond we have. One of the strongest bonds that we have now. Uh, we do outspeed it. So if we hit it with the... Oh, now I fell asleep. Okay, so let's use a Hyper Potion to... He'll back up. And hopefully we... Can, uh... Wake up, that'd be awesome. I think we might have to switch out. Okay, so we... And now I'm frozen. Okay, yeah, we gotta we gotta switch out. Uh, Happy's asleep. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. What can we go into that's not gonna be immediately destroyed? Uh, I think no matter what we go into, something's gonna get destroyed. I think we go into B drill, sack him off to heal up. Wow, it actually ate that. Oh, that doesn't affect him. Oh, let's use a hyper potion here on B drill. We might actually be able to do something here with B drill. We'll just fill everybody up to full health. Keep Beedrill alive a little bit longer. Yeah, just so I can get the clean switch in. We had to sacrifice Beedrill. But it was definitely the smarter play. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we got that Nido Queen taken out. Probably gonna have a Nido King as well. Yes, he does. Uh, we'll stay in. Thunderbolt. Okay, so we live that. We outspeed so we can take out the Nido King. Uh, it's probably gonna have Kangaskong and Rhydon next. We really need a water type. Yep, Rhydon. We'll stay in. Uh, let's heal up. Just because I'm not 100% sure what this thing's gonna have. Rock Slide. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna kill me. No. Are you. <sighs> okay. It's okay. We can get through this. I am frozen solid, so we are gonna have to. How much did that do? 81. We can heal. We can live that, but I don't have any ice hills. No. Are you kidding me? And Happy's asleep. Earthquakes. Oh my gosh, that's super effective. Okay, let's heal up. And then go for, uh, something. Go for Bone Meringue, maybe? Come on, kill this thing or get it close to dying. Okay, so it does. Let's use some more Hyper Potions. And then, okay, right on has gone. Oh my gosh. Boros, okay. We'll stay in. Uh, and then go for some more Bone Meringues. Not doing a whole lot of damage to us. Hill up again. So we've lost three Mons again this episode. So I think next episode, what we're gonna do... No, 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 okay is uh make our way to every area we possibly can I'm about to recharge this episode and get as many counters as we can to start rebuilding the team uh we're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel when it comes to uh mons in the pc
Let's get the... Ah, no more room. So let's do this. Let's, uh... I don't even know what to toss at this. Nah, uh, we can... We don't need that. Okay, well... We'll toss the Ultra Ball. Okay, so we found the self scope, which is good. Oh, well, I could have walked through that. Oh, well. And I guess I did need the lift key to get out of here. That would have been a little bad if they would have let you toss it. Are you kidding me? And I didn't even heal. I didn't know I had to fight this guy. If I would have known how to fight this guy, I wouldn't have. I would have healed. I thought I was home free. This thing's got surf. That's why I went for dig to avoid it, and that's gonna be super effective against them as well. Okay, so we've got the eradicate. Uh, now we're we're gonna stay in. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that guy's down. They just randomly throw in a trainer at the end of taking out Giovanni. Hyper Potion. And a rare candy. Okay. So let's go and get out of here. And go up here. And then we will, what I'll do is I will heal up, and actually I know what I'm going to do so I don't forget. Uh, what I'm going to do is save here, right in front of the PC, that way if it crashes when I do this, we've all, at least we got all of our data saved and it's not going to make that big of a deal. So let's change box, go to box three. And then deposit, we lost Dragonite, we lost Cyan, and then we lost Beedrill here. Let's change box again. Let's go up to box one. And we need to release this guy here. That was a second Beedrill I accidentally caught, not meaning to. And then let's see what we have. We have Todd, which is Vulpex, so that's going to be good to replace... Dragonite. Uh, we have Mole, which is a... Uh, we can put Burb. That's a... Be that's a uh, Pidgeotto. And then we have Norman and Mole. Uh, Norman's Ligatong. Mole is a Diglett. I say we bring out... Diglett. Or should we... Actually, let's put Mole back in. And let's bring out Norman. There we go. So it looks like this might be the team. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm about to do. I'm about to get some levels on everybody. But if you guys did enjoy the episode, uh, it'd be greatly appreciated if you leave a like on the video. If you are new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I promise that if this is the first episode, I promise episodes normally aren't like this. I normally have a good idea where I'm going, but without the little warp pads, I was unsure. And until next time, you guys have a great day and stay safe. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,